Welcome to Kimber Bushcraft. Today you can see I'm out in Kimber Camp and it's actually my first time in two months. The last video I made out from uh, Kimber Camp was the uh, winter solstice video, my Viking video. So uh, it's been almost two months since I've been out here. And Cornelius is with me again today. Uh, he's just exploring the area here. But uh, I was a little bit uh, excited or anxious to come out here because uh, since I've been here, there's been a lot of uh, snow, uh, a few snowstorms uh, and storms in uh, particular. So I was uh, very uh, uh, anxious to see if uh, the shelter has uh, had any damage. But all is fine out here. Uh, it's good, strong, and uh, I think there was some uh, snow in here uh, when it was uh, snowing. But and it's almost dried out here. So yeah. It's going to be a good day out here in uh, Kimber Camp, and I'm glad you join us on this little adventure here. I'm going to make a special meal today, something I made many years ago, and I've got a lot of uh, comments on that. So I'll make that again today over the fire and uh, together with my coffee. And then I have uh, two uh, surprises I got, uh, two gifts uh, that I will show you later in this video. So now, but I think I'll start uh, by uh, lighting the fire and then preparing my food and then you'll see what it is I brought today. So yeah. <clears throat> and it is this dish I will make today, uh, camembert or a brie and some bacon, yeah. And those of you who have watched the video know it's very delicious. I just wrap the camembert or the brie in bacon like this, yeah. And then on this side. And of course, this is not a dish for people who has trouble with diabetes and so on. But um, I don't have that. So for me, it's a, a choice I can make. Uh, not often. As I said before, it's many years since I made this. So. Uh, and I haven't made it since then, so I think it's okay. Yeah, you can see brie camembert wrapped in bacon. Yeah, then I just have to put the pan on, and then we're good to go. Slow this one down here, and then I can put this over. And uh, yeah, I use oil for this. Uh, you can use butter if you want to, but uh, again, oil is good. Oh, yeah, and then I can put the Yeah, you can hear it sizzling. It's going to be very nice. Yeah. 
Oops. Let's see if I can turn it. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear me now, but uh, the trick is that the uh, brie or the cum bear will be soft inside. So I have to be careful that it not uh, break so the, uh, the cheese will run out. Yeah, and now I think it's finished. So I'll take it over in this bowl. Because it's going to be very Greasy. Yeah. And then I just put this one over here and let it cool off. I put a little more firewood on. Let's see if it is as I expect it to be. Yeah, let's see. Oh yeah. See this? Cornelius. And then I'll take some crackers, I think it's called. If I can get this up. Oh yeah. Let's see if I have something to hold it. Press this one. Yeah. <laughs> Always nice. Cornelius, stop. Then you have a dish here. I'll try to eat this. Mm. Mm. So good. Perhaps Cornelius will taste it. See, can I just a little piece of this with a little bit of yeah? Is it good? Hmm? Bacon on. See so if I can get a little piece of. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. 
cheese and bacon. Mmm, so delicious. Nope. <laughs> We'll get my beer. I brought a Danish beer. No, 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 it's mine. That one? Yeah. Score everyone. Mm. Let's have some more. Yeah, you have two baits. One bacon on, two, yeah. It's hot, can I just have to wait? It's hot, hot, hot. Mm. Nice. If not uh, afraid of cholesterol, I think it's called in English too, then you should try this one. Yeah. They're so delicious. Mmm. I'm not sure I can eat all this, so uh, yeah. Perhaps I'll leave something for the fox. Hmm? Yeah. And I think the last one for me and Cornelius mustn't get mustn't get the pain in the stomach because of this. Yeah. So one for me and one for Cornelius. Let's go. Let's see. Just clean this. Some coffee? Yeah. And you hear the farmers are driving in the, <coughs> the tractors. Soon they'll begin preparing the the fields for um, for the spring and the harvest. Let's see. A little bit lower. Yeah. This will do. No, no more Cornelius. Perhaps you want some water? Here you go. Yeah. And uh, while the coffee or the water is boiling, or preparing my coffee, then I'll show you the first packets I have. I got uh, actually today, just before I drove out here in Kimber Camp. And uh, yeah. Let's see what it is. Yeah. And I got this today in the mailbox from a friendly subscriber, a follower here in Denmark called uh, 
Lillian. I'm so grateful for this Lillian. Uh, they are awesome. And uh, she made them herself. And uh, yeah, it's actually, it was white wood. But then he, she um, boiled it in uh, spruce coins, cones, spruce cones, and then they uh, got this color. Yeah. And this is of course for wine. You can pop up wine, and this is for bottles. Yeah, and uh, I love them. They are old school and just my style. Let's go. <laughs> Cornelius is moving the camera. You got in there, right? Right, right, right. See, then have I one. Oh God, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think they will be very nice out here in Kimber Camp. And you ask me, uh, Lillian, if I uh, drink wine, and I certainly do, especially when I'm out here making overnights together with some friends, who always bring some wine and, uh, yeah, of course, some beer. So I'll keep them out here and uh, treasure them. But beside this, she also had a little gift for my little dog, Cornelius. She actually sent some dry meat for him. Yeah. So uh, two pieces, and this piece I uh, waited for uh, to give him out here in Kimber Camp. Yeah, and uh, Cornelius liked this very much. He's so grateful for this. And then the last thing, some bandage or plaster, as we call it here in Denmark. And uh, yeah, I don't know why she sent me this, or perhaps, yeah. Yes. Cornelius, yeah. yeah. So nice. A treat for you. And uh, perhaps I should have this out in Kimber Camp. Yeah. But actually, it's a long time since I cut myself. So, uh, yeah. But it's good to have uh, if the accident should happen. So I'll keep this one out here in Kimber Camp too. So I also have a plaster bandage if I need one. And then I got this package that I've been waiting for for a long time. And some of you maybe know uh, what it is. And I also know what it is. But I want to open it now together with you, my faithful subscribers here. So uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm so excited. So are Cornelius because he's a part of this. Yeah. But of course, it's my silver play button from YouTube. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, so beautiful. I bring it a little bit closer, you can see it in detail. Yeah, here it is. You can see here, presented to Kimber Bushcraft Viking Heritage for passing 100,000 subscribers from YouTube. Yeah, I'm so grateful for this and of course, it's all about you, my friends, my followers, my supporters out there. Thank you for uh, bringing me to this awesome place, this milestone. And this will be on my wall back in my study, my workshop. And I'll treasure it. And I have a little funny story about this. I'll share with you. But, uh, I can hear the water is boiling, so I have to put in the coffee. Yeah. Almost boiling. Always so curious what I'm doing, right Cornelius? Even though you don't drink coffee. Nope. Yeah, just a little bit. Yeah, then it's fine. You know when you make uh, coffee from lemon, as I do, you have to put so much in that the 
a little animal could go over the the grinds or the grounds without getting wet. <laughs> and then a little bit of salt in. Yep. And then uh, I'll have to see. Lower it a little bit. I think it's almost boiling again. That's one step lower. That's fine. Now it's beginning to boil. Yeah. Now it has boiled for about a minute. So I think it's finished. And then I'll put the lid on and just take it up here so it can rest. Yeah, and while while the coffee is resting, I would like to share this little funny story with you. Uh, once I saw a YouTuber that got this silver play button. He turned the 100,000 subscribers and yeah, it was awesome, but he was a cool guy, at least I thought he was, because he took the play button and he looked at it and he said, well, this is a bunch of uh, cheap plastic crap, and then he threw it over his shoulder. And I thought, wow, if I had the chance to get a silver play button from YouTube, I would be grateful for that, but he just threw it over his shoulder and said, <laughs> it's nothing for me. But then, when I turned this 100,000 subscribers, I actually found out that you have to apply to get this silver play button. You have to uh, fill in a formula, uh, otherwise you won't get it. So this guy that was so cool, he actually uh, made it uh, as he wanted it. He filled out the formula and sent it to YouTube and he got the silver play button. But then, yeah, I think he tried to be a cool guy for me he's not cool, but yeah, then he threw it over the shoulder and uh, uh, didn't respect it or wasn't grateful for it. So that will never happen for me. So uh, yeah, just a th funny story uh, because I didn't know, uh, I didn't knew that uh, you had to apply for it. You had to fill in the formula, otherwise you doesn't get it. So um, when I found out I could, of course I did that and uh, it only took about I think a month, four weeks to get here. Yeah. So, I'm very glad for it and grateful. And most of the YouTube I know are. Um, and uh, yeah, I used a lot of my video time for uh, talking about my uh, big milestone, the 100,000 subscribers, my giveaway, and all that. But now it's all over, so you're not going to hear any more about this. Um, some of you maybe think it's too much, but uh, for me, yeah. So this is the final step in the process of uh, celebrating my um, my 100,000 subscribers, yeah. And uh, for that, of course, I'll drink a little whiskey in my coffee, yeah, and make a toast. For all you, my wonderful followers out there. So let's see, Cornelius. That's a coffee. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can I take it? And today I'm going to try something new. I've seen other YouTubers uh, do this trick. Uh, I never tried it, but there was also a friend that told me I should try this. I usually don't get any uh, coffee grounds in my coffee, but this will help a lot. Yeah.
Score everyone, and thanks again for all your support and kindness. It warms my heart and uh, makes me very happy when I read the comments. Scroll to you. Ah, yeah. And I made a post on um, Instagram and uh, Facebook about my wink. And uh, I used that for many years. And uh, as long as people think it's funny, I'll continue uh, making my little wink. Uh, I only get uh, positive comments on that, and uh, that's cool. But if it's going to be too much, I'll stop. Um, there was actually a guy, I don't know if he was uh, trying to be humorous, funny, but he said that it was almost like Odin celebrating his uh, one eye and sharing uh, Odin's secret. But I think it's a nice uh, thought, so I'm very grateful for that. I haven't found any evidence of that, that uh, the wink will be uh, something uh, regarding Odin. But of course he had only one eye, and he gave the one eye uh, for uh, obtaining the knowledge of the runes. I talked about that in other videos. So, um, yeah. Thanks for joining us on the Kimber Camp again. Hope you enjoyed this little visit. And uh, yeah, always uh, looking forward to see you out here. Mm.
Yeah, folks, this was all for now. I hope you enjoyed this little video from Kimber Camp. And uh, yeah, I'm going to make some new videos every uh, 14 days. I have, a, I have a lot of other stuff I'm going to attend to. But uh, yeah, I think my next video will be a Viking video. And uh, perhaps I have a plan for that. I just have to uh, think about it. It's an awesome little place I could visit and make a, a nice little hike there. So yeah. Thank you for watching Kimma Bushcraft. We really appreciate that, Cornelius and me, and then we hope to see you again on the next one. Bye bye and take care. Mm.